remember, I get very good tundra cities. More worthwhile than trying to cram another city up here. All right, let's see where this missionary moves to. All right, that's not far enough, buddy. Chichen Itza. We do have enough for a missionary, and it's probably worth buying a missionary to... I was going to say to convert these cities up here, but they look like they're converting on their own pretty well. Like Voronez has already converted. But uh, we do need to start working on the other cities in this game. So uh, let's go ahead and purchase a missionary. Should have plenty of spreads. Novgorod needs housing. Moscow needs amenities, right? All right, so we finished the granary. What I really need is more builders, so I'm going to work on that. We don't need envoys for the time being. I, the only one I really need to maintain suzerain status of is Mohenjo Dara. All right, so you get out of the way. This is the guy who has the bonus for theological combat. So, yeah, see, look at that. I've got 130 because of that promotion. Oh, nice. He just one-shotted that guy. And, of course, now I get a my religion gets a boost every time I kill um, one of their followers. <laughs> yeah, so that promotion's really strong. Um, that's why I do not want to waste this guy on evangelizing a belief. So this guy can just mow down enemy um, missionaries. So now it's time for me to start popping out the missionaries left and right and just start to spread the religion. Uh, you're probably okay. So we'll start with this city and then head over to the next continent, which appears to be all um, Zoroastrian, what is this? Sikhism, excuse me. I didn't recognize the symbol. All right. You can go back to sleep then. So meanwhile, yeah, we want to definitely need to know like what's on this continent in order to be able to convert things. So of course we can't land because of the cliffs, but we can land on that tile. I bet Sumeria is over here somewhere, but that still leaves another sieve somewhere out in the fog. All right, you. You need to be working that tile, and that tile, and that tile, <laughs> and that, and that, and that, and that. I will mine that tile and then send them up here to work on these other cities. This would be a really nice time to rush by a builder up here if I can get enough money for it. So I want this guy to heal. Um, these units only heal next to holy sites. I think next to or on holy sites. So let's have him sit on the holy site, and he should heal as a result of that. So I do need money, so I'm going to build the market, I think, and then the mosque. Same thing here. Let's do markets first, and then we'll go mosques after that. And it looks like I'm working all of the hill tiles that are available here. Capital's making good progress on that wonder. I'm slowly getting some exploration. I guess I should make sure I get through her territory first, because she's probably not going to sign open borders with me when our current open borders run out. Um, how many cities does she have? Neapolis, that's a Roman city. <laughs> so is Rome in this game? So she only has four cities. I do have an excess silk. Let's see if Gilgamesh would like to buy some. Nope. All right. Suit yourself, buddy. Not make a demand, make a deal. Uh, that's not a lot, but I can. I'm broke enough that I can use that. Yes, I'm glad that the chat's getting a kick out of the fact that my religion is butterfly power. So, yeah, the AI is just shuffling around. You want to be, baby. <laughs> uh, 
the AI would do better to just settle cities, period, like, and not worry so much about getting the exact location that they want. All right, so we're going to have to get up to this city. At least these units have four moves, so they do move a little bit faster. Ah, uh, Seoul. Are we the first one to find them? No, we are not. In fact, someone's already there, Suzerain. But uh, it's probably also worth dropping a, an envoy on them just to get the plus two science in the capital, probably. They, uh, let's see, what's there? You enter a new era, you earn a unique... Uh, earn one random Eureka. Um, I'm just worried I don't want to lose the benefit of being Mohenjo Daro's suzerain, so I'm hesitant to send too many envoys. So I think I'll pass. But at least we've met them, so that's kind of neat. Capital is probably going to go straight from its current wonder onto Hagia Sophia. That would give me missionaries with five spread charges, excuse me, which would be quite nice. You can just like run through and convert super fast. Okay, so you heal. So, yeah, we're going to need more amenities too. I definitely don't have a lot considering the number of cities I have. So I need to mine that jade. That will give me more, another amenity. All right, so this guy will be able to help with that. So I want to make sure we work that tile too, because we're at the housing cap. And we'll probably be there for a while. So uh, be prepared to see me moving a lot of missionaries around on the stream. <laughs> it's going to be doing a lot of that. That settler is still just right where it was before. I wish exploring didn't take quite so long. Yeah, so, well, the thing is, the city-state benefits, like, some of them are super useful in some games, and then the same benefit can be pretty useless in other games. It just depends. So we found Geneva, too. Their benefit is you earn... Wow, that's, that's a really nice benefit. <laughs> 15% science whenever you're not at war with someone. Very nice. But again, someone's already there, Suzerain. Wish I'd found these guys when I was researching uh, political philosophy for the first government. That would have been nice. Up oh, here comes a new missionary. So my guy did heal. All right, change policy. So we don't need the builder one, or the settler one. Let's take the holy site adjacency one. Take that one. I definitely want the boulder builder bonus policy. I think that's all. This one would be nice to get too, but I don't really have a spot for it. All right, so we'll get more faith. All right, on to divine right and Reformed Church, which is the big one because it gets us theocracy government. Right, and we probably should keep just keep producing missionaries. Um, now getting close to this city is going to be a real pain because of the geography is just awkward. I think the only way to reach this city is from on this tile, or actually embarking is probably faster. Like, we move here and then embark and just sail around. And they've got another missionary coming, so... Apostles, go. Do your thing. I have two apostles. Now, where's the other one? Just in case I need both of them. That's my mission. Oh, here he is. Here's the other one. Alright. We'll grab him as soon as he comes off the boats. And I should be getting close to being able to buy a builder. Well, actually, not really. Still a long way away. Oh, well. Oh, hello. So, Neapolis, that is a, indeed a Roman city. So Rome must be one of the remaining AIs in this game. Now, 
This is an odd world. Very strange from the map generator in this particular game. So did Rome grab the tile? Or St. Peter, Rome. I'm thinking, got Rome on the brain now. Uh, looks like it did grab the tile I want. Yep, the 30 production per turn, not bad. In the pre uh, factory era, pretty good for a city. So let's make sure. All right, working that tile. Um, yeah, these tiles are probably better than a bare tundra tile. The city's never going to have that much population, but it's making do pretty well for a little little city. How about this one? What do we got? Uh, how about that tile instead? Definitely need builders for these two cities. Like I said, I'm looking to cash rush one as soon as I have enough money. Probably shouldn't have been quite so aggressive about buying tiles earlier. All right, here they come. Still can't get through, of course. I'm probably going to want to research the stuff that gives you more movement while embarked. Like, see, this one allows you to navigate ocean tiles. We probably need to go for this next. And it's plus one movement for embarked tiles, uh, embarked units. This one is plus two movement for embarked units. Like, that's going to help me more than almost anything else, because I'm going to have to, obviously, here on a continents map, I'm going to have to sail my religious units. Like, it's pretty clear I'm going to have to do that, so... Oh yeah, and I should probably, like I said, keep purchasing missionaries as they become available. Oh, hello. So this is clearly the core of um, Tamiris' faith, so we're going to have to get in here and start converting her. Now if I can just navigate past this really awkward terrain, getting over there is not going to be easy. Well, we'll make do. Certainly not, not exploring this territory very fast. <laughs> uh, but with better naval technology, we'll be able to explore stuff faster. There is a promotion to... Oh, 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 ignore that. They stupidly move their missionary right next to my apostle. Although not the one who has the really... Not the one who has the bonus in combat. See, this is not as big of a bonus, so I'll let the guy who can one-shot him get the kill on the next turn. Alright, so let's see. I don't think there. So, I could go for industrialization, but I'm not sure that factories will really help me. I feel like getting that movement through C would do more. But I'm going to have to go through industrialization anyway, so um, let's go for cartography. I can probably boost this, build two harbors. At the very least, let's research part of this. And then get the boost, because I'm building a harbor here, and Novgorod can finish its harbor as well. Alright, so you chill there for right now. What the? Are you kidding me? Am I not going to be able to get through because there's so many freaking units in the way? <laughs> what the heck? That's a lot of units. Are you kidding me? Well, hopefully I can move through. Because that's annoying. Anyway, jeez. Alright. You need to get over here and start improving these tiles. Well, we'll find, figure something out. <laughs> That's annoying. All right, so Nidoros probably doesn't need the trade route as much here anymore. Yeah, it's at the housing cap. So let's transfer up to one of these new cities, which can use the boost more and also get a road going. Uh, so my open borders have run out with Tamiris. So I need to get open borders to continue exploring. See, she wants money, but that's okay. I need to be able to, I need to explore her territory. Like, I would prefer not to pay for the open borders, but 
um, I have to be able to find out where her cities are if I'm going to be able to convert them. And apparently we found, oh, <laughs> the best city-state in the game for going for a religious victory. It's too bad this one didn't start near me. So Yerevan's suzerain bonus is your apostles can choose their promotion instead of getting random ones. And one of the promotions is the ability to eliminate competing religions in a city. So we would like to be the suzerain of this city-state. It's too bad I didn't find them until now. So the goal going forward will do, what do they want? Train a knight, okay. We don't have the resources or the tech for that, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Hi, the Marquis. Glad you managed to catch a stream. All right. Um, I don't know if I can train a knight, but it might be worth doing. <laughs> I would need an iron resource. I have iron, but I only have one. I would need to build an encampment to be able to train a knight. Still might be worth doing, though, just to get uh, uh, another envoy with them. All right, so we met Sparta. So they have founded a religion as well, because they have a, an apostle for Confucianism. Wow, they are not close. They're way up there. Let's see what we can figure out about her. So she's the... Con All right, so these are the ones we have to deal with. We have to deal with Sikhism and Confucianism. I'm going to try to deal with Scythia first, because they're closer. She's converted seven cities as well. Also has more faith per turn than I have. That won't last forever, but... Um, okay, so that's the competition. Those are the two we're going to have to focus on. Um, Greece and Scythia are our main opponents. Uh, the Spartan game, I just decided I didn't want to finish it, mostly because I had intended that to be a one-continent, a Pangea game, and... Oh, that's nice. I'm glad she appreciates that. Um, and it didn't work out that way. I ended up on a continent's map. All right, so hey, you. Yeah, guess what? I'm going to kill you. Well, almost. I guess I got a bad dice roll, but... There we go. So minus Sikhism plus butterfly power. That's what happens when you kill missionaries. It's very nice. So let's see if we can use this. Oh, I was going to use that guy's promotion. Again, the one problem is your the religious units can't heal. Um, all right, well, at least we can go around. The religious units can't heal unless they're on a holy site of yours, at least not normally. So let's build the harbor for that boost. So you have to be a little bit careful, but um, repeatedly killing their missionaries will has a big effect in their whole religious struggle aspect of the game. Yeah, I accidentally set up the wrong one. Alright, so that'll help this city get going a lot. How about Port Tver up here? Yeah, that works. Just work the 2-2 two -two tiles for the time being. Yeah, butterflies, slow clap. Yes, they will cut your pretty face. Alright. So, we would definitely like to become friends with Yerevan. Actually, this harbor should line up pretty well with the boost for cartography. I wasn't even deliberately doing that. Also, almost got this wonder done. Ready to go right on to the next one. If I can land this unit, hopefully I can land this unit, convert this city, and then head over here and start converting. So do we have enough to purchase another... Wait, what? Yes, I know, I saw a natural wonder. Do we have enough to purchase another missionary? No. Next turn. 170. Gotta get them started early on, and then move them about. Alright, guilds. Finished. Wait, what do we do to boost guilds? That's another one I'm not familiar with. Oh, it's two markets. Two markets, that's right. Yes, thank you. Now I'm able to create two more trade routes. Nice. Scouts available for a promotion. All right. What do we want? Can see through woods and jungle, sure. More more uh, vision sounds great. So I think it's I finished, uh, oh, I finished a market here. 
All right, I can put down another district if I want. You know what? Let's go for the Colossus here, or not Colossus, um, Colosseum, because the AI almost always ignores this wonder. Well, no, this is the wrong city to build it. I want it to be in a place where it can affect a whole bunch of cities at once. The proper place to build it is like right here. So Novgorod would probably have to build it. That or St. Petersburg. Like you put it, put the entertainment district down and then put it here and then it'll affect these four cities. So no, it's not the right one to do that. Um, I could put down a campus to get my science going a little bit better. Would not be a terrible idea. Or I can continue to get more religion. Maybe I'll do this, um, because then this gives me a place to start sending missionaries west to the other continent, which is not a terrible idea. Uh, I also need someone to build new traders, so why don't you work on that for me, Nidoros, because I'm going to have several new, um, what's it called, several new trade routes to fill out, and you can help me with this too, because traders are not that expensive, you mostly just want to get them done quickly. I've already got the industrial zone down. Jeez, <laughs> can't fill out my uh, districts fast enough. All right. Uh, a shrine here would be nice because a shrine here then lets me purchase missionaries here. Well, actually, they'd have one fewer spread, so I still wouldn't want to build them there. And I still can't get next to this stupid city because they have idiotically have units on every single freaking tile. But I'm getting closer. So this guy can promote and take the chaplain, provides extra healing. So I want to see if that will apply to these units away from a holy site. I don't know if it will. I'm going to test that by not having them move. And meanwhile, you come over here and start embarking. All right, so the, uh, this city has finished a trade route. This is its own native trade route, and this city needs a trade route, because otherwise it doesn't have enough food to supply itself. Um, do you think the AI is too easy? Yeah, the AI is not very good in this game right now. Um, the AI needs to be improved pretty badly. It's the biggest shortcoming with this game right now, is the AI is not very good. So yes, it needs work. Definitely needs work. So I'm going to repair that and then head to Tver. <laughs> As usual, I can't even move my unit. Look at this, I can't even move because of one unit per tile silliness. Like, I am literally stuck. Hopefully they'll shuffle around and I'll be able to move. Just like over here, hopefully they'll shuffle around and I'll be able to land. And so Saladin, he is the last one. So he should have his own religion too. Wow, this is a tough game for religion. I've got a couple of AIs that love religion in this game. Norway loves religion. Um, Scythia loves religion. And... Arabia loves religion. You can't expect to wield supreme power. Just got some watery tar through a sword here. Yep. <laughs> okay. So we're almost I could in theory switch to monarchy here if I wanted to, but I, I think I'm just will hold off and go for well, actually it's gonna take me yeah, fifteen turns, that's long enough that it's worthwhile to do so. Um well, no, actually, because I want the economic policies. I don't want these military policies. So never mind. We will not convert. Oh, and now everything is moved. So he has... Oh, wait. he Does he even have his own religion? Did his religion just, like, get strangled in the cradle? He should have his own religion, though, because Saladin always gets a great profit. Doesn't appear as though he has a religion, though. Huh, that's weird. Interesting. Interesting. I hate this overlay they put on. Alright, so my units did not heal. Note, even with that healing promotion, it still did not heal. But I can finally get this guy next to this city to convert it. And with how many charges do I have? With four charges, I can definitely convert this city. Then we'll start moving on the homeland over here. Although this is the only city actually producing, what is it, faith, plus five, plus five. Once you can convert their um, holy site districts, like if you can convert all of their holy site districts that have a religion, it's over. They can't produce their religion anymore. Like you literally just strangle their religion. It's kind of horrifying in a way. <laughs> 
Alright, so you guys need to get to a holy site district so you can heal. Anyway, so this city, yes. That's a pretty good tile. Um, that's a forest tile. Alright, so here's a woods tile. I can clear this and then mine the subsequent tile. And I almost have enough to rush by a builder again. Repair that. Or where's the repair? I don't know why the little symbol's way up there. Fortunate sun placed in the background. Alright, yes, I already moved that unit, I'm aware. They both just need to get next to the holy site. They don't need to be on it, just next to it. Yes, exploration takes forever. Oh, hello. There's a... Mohenjo Daro has a trade unit, too. I guess it built a commercial district. Or a harbor or something. To get a trade route. No, no it didn't. But I guess it just has a trader regardless. The one from the tech tree, I suppose. Crazy shuffling. Please don't attack me with your 10,000 units. Yay, we got the wonder. Nice. Alright, let's enhance our religion. We want stuff that's good at fighting other religions and getting more spreads. This will be a really neat wonder to see in, in real life, by the way. Alright, so... That's not bad, but not good enough to save you. So let's enhance belief with you. Of course, this obviously uses him up. Alright, what do we want? Let's see. I don't think we necessarily need stuff that provides more faith. This we probably want. 30% cheaper to produce. Yep, that'll save a ridiculous amount of faith. This one's also super good. Like, I'm going to be moving through all kinds of terrain. Like, you want this. You can just walk through the terrain like it's not there. Very, very nice. Um, but see, this sounds like it's good, but it's for combat units, not religious units. Like, this is nice, except I'm not going to lose in theological combat. I am planning on winning. So, yeah, let's grab the cheaper to produce. And then with the other one, let's grab that other policy. All right, so what are his promotions? That's not bad either, but still not the one that wipes out any... Um, the one you really want is the one that wipes out enemy religion. All right, and so the other one is... Wait, what the... What happened to the other... Why don't I get the full list again? What happened to the other policies? I don't understand. Where's my other options? I don't understand why it's down to so few. I wanted the movement one, too. I, I don't get this. That's really weird. Huh. I wanted that terrain one too. I just thought I could pick both of them. It's just bizarre that I would have this long list and then suddenly like two-thirds of them are gone on the second one. Huh. Still learning how this works. You get one pick from each type of belief. I didn't even know there were multiple types of beliefs. I thought they were all the same. Huh. Okay. Well, this is good, it's just it would have saved me a lot of micromanaging of moving units around otherwise. It, that certainly wasn't very clear. Anyway. Okay. Um, you should probably just take this. Every holy site will provide another plus one faith. That's probably worth doing. More so than every city in other religions. Symbols, okay. All right, well, that's slightly disappointing, but we'll live with it. And now on to Hagia Sophia for the extra uh, bonus spreads. Well, at least, the at least they're all cheaper to produce, so that's good. Yeah, oh well, I was hoping to get the faster movement to save myself some time. Can't move any further. 
Wait, I can, oh, I can spread religion right here? Oh, I didn't even realize you could do that from the water. Well, we might as well. All right, so this is a hill. So this will finish the lavra. So why don't we just go straight onto the shrine? Because why not? All right, and you guys need to just be next to the... All right, that'll work. Yeah, just chill. You guys are healing. All right, let's mine that. Because that'll give us another luxury. Hey, all those units moved. That's nice. So I have a lot of faith now, apparently. So let's uh, purchase some missionary. Oh, they are much cheaper. Well, that is nice. And I'm purchasing them at St. Petersburg because I get the extra spread. Because uh, I finished... A, what, have I finished a temple? What is it? A mosque in any other cities? So I've got the mosque here. What other cities? No, 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 no. All right. So that is still the only city that's finished a mosque. I'm building one here, too. Okay. So we'll keep sending the... Uh, and they get the extra spread if I build them there. So I might as well. So there's a new Barb City somewhere. Yes, I know Novgorod's at the housing limit. All right, that'll temporarily solve uh, the ho some of the housing problems. Or what's it called? So Moscow, this is its own domestic, like this is its own trade route. I'm wondering if it might be worth running a trade route to this city just so there can be a road that goes there. Um, probably not with this trader though, maybe with one of the ones that i am come up with later. Okay, so you guys should heal. Yeah, you need to spend one turn healing. Alright, there we go. Let's grab that. And then I can farm these two tiles to get a farming triangle going, and then mine this tile. Yeah. Alright. Move one tile, spread. Go butterfly power cut. It doesn't seem to be doing that much, but must be adjacent. I thought I was next to the city center. Oh my god, are you kidding me? One unit per tile is... Ugh, there's a unit standing here. What the... WTF. All right, so that unit's never going to move. So let's just... You just head east. <laughs> this stupid, stupid unit. It is really hard to get next to this. Maybe I can just do it by sea. All right. Uh, let's keep heading east for right now. Does religious spread give any bonus to your penalty that's not religious related? I don't think so. Like, religion has its own benefits that you get, but I don't think so otherwise. Okay, I don't think there's anything down there in the tundra south. I hope not anyway. At least my economy is finally, like, hopping along at a decent clip. So do I have enough to purchase a builder? No. I need like two or three more turns, because this one from Moscow is now going to Tver, and Moscow needs another one for itself. So we've got plenty of faith, which is good. Have we done enough to flip this city yet? Jeez, it's really resisting. You can see it can take a while. Well, plenty more missionaries where that came from. And these guys need to get out of the way, kind of in the way of my movement. Jeez, I am getting a lot of faith. All right, I just have to remember to keep purchasing these missionaries. They're very cheap. I can almost purchase one per turn. So we've got a new trader unit. This guy should go up to Tver. And meanwhile, I am going to need to do... Um, 
Actually, let's do a mosque here as well, because I'm going to need to send a flood of missionaries west as well in order to win this game. Can you see why it would be nice to be able to ignore movement? Like, just be able to walk over terrain like it's not there? That would sure be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> also, why did these guys not heal? They're on a holy site district of mine. Like, what's going on? They should be healing. They're on a holy site district. Let's wait one more turn. I swear, sometimes this game, like, the documentation is just so bad. It's, like, impossible to know what's going on. Sure are a lot of units running around, too. Okay, they're still not healing, and they're on a holy site. Do I need, wait, do I need to have not just a shrine, but also a temple? Maybe I need to have a temple as well as a shrine for them to heal. Let's go test that. There's no missionaries up here for them to fight yet, so they're okay. Alright, come on, please convert this city. Are you kidding me? It's still not... I used, just used three charges in this city, and it still didn't flip it yet. It's hard to believe. Well, anyway. I guess this is going to take a while. So this city doesn't have a lot to build. I guess I could build the Colossus, but that's not a huge priority. <laughs> Mont Saint-Michel is useful more if you're going for a cultural victory, because you can get relics from your units dying, but I don't really want my units to die. <laughs> it's kind of not the goal. So I'll put up another mosque, I think. So yeah, these missionaries are cheap, which is nice, but it also takes a long time moving them because of the one unit per tile rules are really annoying. Hey, Maravich James. So I probably should put some kind of other district down. And the obvious place for a commercial district is here on the river, but it's not in my borders right now. And I didn't want to cash rush that yet, because I wanted to cash rush a builder here. So I'll leave that alone. All right, so mine that. Then we'll go farm those two tiles. Uh, what do the relics do? My understanding is they provide faith and culture. So they can be used for both a, like a cultural victory or when you're going for a uh, religious victory. That's my understanding. Fa oh, faith and tourism. Okay. So not culture, tourism. Anyway, so here's my other trade route. The question is, where do I want to run this from? Like, what cities? Scouts. Hmm. So like all my new cities have trade routes running to them. I think the only ones that don't have are Novgorod, Skien, and Nidoros. So, or transfer to another city. I'll move them to there, to Skien. Wow, there's a lot of tundra on this other continent. Is this all one continent? Like this year and then this year? I'm wondering. Look at all these units. It's ridiculous. The stupid soccer horse archer and its ability <laughs> to spam units. They need to change that. Just make the unit. The whole notion that when you build one, you get two of the same unit does not square very well with one unit per tile. All right, so we got the boost from building another harbor. 
So we finished the harbor here. I'll go for a Moss to keep the Faith rolling in. Now, now my Embarked units can move further, which is good. And there is a... I know I saw a Missionary unit over here. Let's see, which city should I go for first? Can I drop that lens? I'm trying to see where they have Holy Site districts. There's a holy site up there, Stonehenge, Theater District. Maybe we just go for this one first because it's closest. <laughs> Works for me. Yeah, so they've already tried to take steps to make it so the spam is not as bad. They made missionaries and apostles 50% more expensive. In it, um, fifty percent more expensive, but they have an extra charge. Hmm. So, do I want to grab this to get lumber mills? I probably do because that will also build boost this tech. And I also need to get my three workshops up for to boost industrialization. Since I'm heading here for the plus two movement for embarked units, since that seems like it'll be the most helpful thing I can do. So, why don't we grab this? All of these are very cheap techs. It'll also be nice to be able to upgrade my um, archers to crossbows in case anyone would actually try to attack me. So where is the holy site? Down here. Alright, so we'll try to heal them here and see if they heal. Because they definitely healed before. Maybe they need to be at a temple to heal, not just a holy site. I don't know. All right, you are going to improve this city. So mostly that's going to consist of mining hill tiles, I think. Is this a hill? Yes. All right, so we can chop that and then mine it. There we go. All right, stay on the high food tiles first. Yeah, I need a way to like just auto queue these missionaries up. All right, um, you probably need production more than food. Why don't you build a road to Astrakhan? Because feature creep. Yeah, well, I mean that's the truthful answer. Ah. It takes forever to move in this game. I really wish they would go back to the previous Civ games movement rules so that like. It, you're not just moving one tile at a time across the landscape. So if I'm, I guess I've met everybody now. Have I? Is there anyone I haven't met yet? Yeah, I've met everybody. So how in the world did she get a city named Neopolis in this game? Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession. All right, I don't think I want to change any policies. The 100% commercial district adjacency bonuses is not bad. My science output's anemic, but that's because I put so much into faith generation this game. Alright, and on to the theocracy. We also have a great person, apparently. Great musician, oh boy, another one I can't really do anything with. At least this great merchant will be helpful. I can't do anything with any of these <laughs> people, but at least I can deny them to the AI, I guess. I guess that's something. Alright, have we managed to get this yet? No. <laughs> we'll just keep dumping in uh, our religion over and over again, and eventually it'll work, I guess. All right, so heal, heal, hopefully. All right, farm. 
All right, what else do we need to improve here? I got like the basic stuff improved. Two builds left. Mine some hill tiles. Mine this, mine that. All right, clear that. Oh, well, we found the south coast. I don't think the map goes much further east-west. Like, it's still not scrolling left-right, but I think it's not too much further until we hit that point. All right, there we go. So they did heal. So the main thing is apparently they need to be next to um, a holy site that has, whatchamacallit, Um, a temple, that's it, in order to be able to heal. Alright, so we hit the east coast here, so maybe it's... Oh great, another barbarian encampment. Um, why in the world did they plant Baghdad down there? That's such a weird spot. And we just keep spreading the faith. I genuinely do not understand why this city has not converted to my religion yet. I've put so many charges into this city. Oh, hello. There's a missionary over here. All right, time to go kill it. Maybe that will be enough to finally swing it over to me. Oh, I don't have... Wait, why can't I purchase this? Too, oh, because I already have one sitting on that tile. Great. Too many units of the same class on the same tile. All right. All right, it's good stuff. Are we working that tile? Because we should be. 